and today we're going to be making oven baked salmon with grilled asparagus. Now the first step in this recipe is that we're gonna make a creamy dill sauce. And the creamy dill sauce is with a base of half a cup of Greek yogurt. Our registered and licensed nutritionist recommends Greek yogurt instead of plain yogurt because it has more protein. It's also filled with probiotics. So now we're gonna take our probiotic filled Greek yogurt and to that we're gonna add mustard, Dijon mustard to be exact, honey, We're gonna add half a cup of lemon juice. And we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of fresh chopped dill. If you can't find fresh chopped dill, you can always use dry dill. Now we're gonna mix this up. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. So now that you have the, the creamy dill sauce all mixed together, you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and we're gonna place it in the fridge. Now we're gonna start marinating the salmon. Our registered and licensed nutritionist recommends taking a lot of omega-3s for heart health, which the salmon happens to have a lot of. We're gonna start with the juice of one lemon, mashed garlic, some honey, and my favorite part, coconut aminos. Now, coconut aminos is a gluten-free alternative to soy sauce. If you can't find coconut aminos, you can just use low-sodium soy sauce, and that's a good substitute for it. We're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. Now that our marinade is ready, we're gonna add the salmon. Now we're gonna toss this, make sure that every piece is marinated. I'm gonna wash my hands and prep it for the oven. I just preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and while that's warming up, I'm gonna create like an aluminum foil pocket to bake my salmon. Now the first step is to have a large baking dish and you're gonna put one sheet of aluminum foil. We're gonna place all the salmon. Let's take whatever's left of this marinade and kinda of drizzle it over the salmon so we can maintain some juiciness. So now the second part is that we're gonna take a second piece of aluminum foil and we're gonna place it right on top and create a pocket. We're gonna fold it together. And once you have this pocket made, you can just put it straight in the oven for about 15 minutes. Depending on the thickness of your salmon is how long it's gonna take in the oven at 350 degrees. You wanna check it about every five minutes. Our registered and licensed nutritionist recommends asparagus because of its high fiber and vitamin content. It's also a natural diuretic. Once you trim the ends off of your asparagus, you're ready to grill it in a pan with just a few ingredients. You're gonna wanna heat up some olive oil at medium to low heat in a pan. Once your asparagus is in the pan, you're gonna season it with salt and pepper to taste, and you're gonna add some garlic powder. Give it a good toss. And once it's started cooking, you're gonna add some lemon juice. The lemon zest at the end is really gonna amp up the flavor and the aroma of your side dish. You wanna cook your asparagus until it's a bright green color. That should take about eight minutes. Once you see it's a bright green color, try not to cook it too much further than that. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're gonna uncover our salmon, add some lemon slices, then pop it into the broiler for just one minute to give it a good crust. Now my favorite part, we pour over the creamy dill sauce. If you happen to make this dish, share it with us on social media using hashtag HialeahRecipes. <laughs>